nail miss. Ah! Oh my god, they're coming after us. I love putting the camera in Tracy's face. She genuinely hates. I genuinely love. Um, we're in the Twitch room today. We're gonna be talking about Nail Myths Top 5. We are going to debunk them and give you the real deal on what is the deal. Holy feel. Ah! Uh! Are you gonna see shit? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes, I was having a seizure. I'm like halfway into nine oh one. My God, and then I'm like, let's stop. just wait. It felt so good to just go. Uh, is he okay? Not in any way, no. It just feels good. I have a problem with that. Like I like to flex muscles in my face or just like, like that feels good. Is that, I have a problem, don't I? Multiple, multiple. <laughs> But I mean, along the lines of, you know, calling 911, I told you earlier, you cannot die on me. Don't croak. I'll try not to croak, Tracy. But let's talk nail myths. This is, uh, this is a fun topic for me because there are some crazy nail myths. Let's go through them. These are the top five. Number one. Nails need to breathe. No, it's, it's, an, it's a total myth. Like That's a myth. Death. Like you don't take off a set and hear it like gasp for air. And what I love about it, I really love this, is we go, they need to come off to breathe. And then we're immediately gonna suffocate them by putting product back on them, <laughs> right? No, they don't need to breathe. I think there's legitimately people that actually feel like I need my natural nails and they need to breathe, but this is dead, right? It's, it's like dead. your hair. It, it, ain't, it ain't breathing. There's nothing there. So most important thing is whoever's managing your natural nails needs to understand natural nails and not like, uh, not cause damage. As Greg says, it's the fools that do damage, not the tools, son. That brings us into myth number two. <laughs> <laughs> Good transition, myth number two. Nail enhancements in general are damaging. Uh, just overall, wearing nail enhancements over a long period of time, oh yeah, that's da damaging. Myth or fact? It's really a myth. That's a myth. <laughs> but, but, if you don't have a nail tech that's taking care of your natural nails, then it can kind of be fact, right? Oh, so yeah, but now you're talking about the, the person that is causing damage, yeah. not, not the actual I'm nails. talking about the fool. The fool, <laughs> yes, thank you. So no, like if you're doing nails correctly and you're prepping the nails correctly and you're using the product correctly, it's it's not doing damage to your nails. Yeah, and I always, I always use Tracy as an example. Over the last four years, I don't know, maybe five, six, seven hundred sets of nails have gone on and off of Tracy's um, fingers. And sometimes like three, four, five times a week. I mean, there was a point where we're shooting so much content, you'd put them on, in take them off in a day, right? Yeah. And your hail, your nail, and your nails, and your nails are perfectly healthy, in good shape, correct? They're really good. Yeah. Like, they're strong. Like, you, I can take these off, they're fine, I put them back on. And like you said, I mean, there was times that there was two to three times a day that I was removing them and taking them back off. And I always say, I would not do anything to my own nails that was causing damage or hurting me. Myth number three, don't use an e-file. Ah, it's dangerous. Ah. Tracy. E-files, what is the there's fact? something wrong with you. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, right back to, I would not do something on myself that caused damage. E-files are like something that's going to be beneficial to the nail tech, to us. It saves my wrists, it saves my arms, yeah. it makes me go faster. I can do just as much damage with this as I can with that. So it's like a doctor, like I wouldn't just hand a doc doctor <laughs> straight out of school and go, here's a scalpel. Like do open heart surgery on me. You know, you, you want some practice behind it. They've, they've learned their their trade, their yeah. technique, same with us. Unfortunately, there are techs that don't know what they're doing and just as long as you're able to, right, you can recognize, you can ask questions, recognize. recognize, you'll be good to go. Myth number four, gel is much healthier than acrylic. I've got some good info on this one, but Tracy, thoughts? It used to be true, and you always go, what? What? <laughs> what? It used to be because back in the day, I used an acid primer when I did acrylic, which is kind of chemically etching the nail. So, you know, getting it ready for the service, whereas gel, we use a non-acid primer, and that doesn't chemically etch the nail. So in theory, I guess you could say gel was healthier, a little bit. Uh, but now we prep, we do the same thing. We use protein bond no matter what, which is non-acid. Um, it's the exact same amount of prep work 
for each one. One is not healthier than the other. Yeah, I think that's a that's a really good point. And, and even there, it's not even, it's like the way that we used to prep, prep acrylic versus gel, right? Yeah. But here, here's, a, here's a fun fact, like gel is really a combination of monomer and polymer already done and mixed and it's in a different consistency. Essentially, they're, they're almost the same thing. One is just one step further down the process. Um, and with, with uh, obviously a little bit different chemistry, you have to light cure it versus air cure it, but they're similar. Uh, they're very similar in that, in that way. So um, totally agree with you. And last but not least, myth number five, gel polish, Trace. It's just like nail polish. It's the same thing. I brush it on, goes on, very similar. Um, I just have to cure one. The other one, uh, air dries. Same thing, same thing, same thing. Yeah, I've heard this one and I've seen this one. So a lot of times when people tell me that their gel polish isn't sticking, it's because they're treating it like a polish. You have to prep gel polish, just like I prep before any other enhancement. Right. It is an enhancement, it has to be prepped. Yeah, that's the part I think is most, is the most important is the fact that you have to prep it like you're prepping acrylic or gel, right? You gotta like remove the shine, you gotta, versus a lot of nail polish, they'll just, you don't have to go through, it's, it's a little bit different process, is it not, in, in prepping nail polish? Yeah, totally different. So you typically, like if you're doing polish, you would normally kind of do a water manicure, uh, cleanse the nail where you don't typically take a medium grit file to it, you may buff. Uh, where gel polish, you're gonna use a medium grit file, you need to prep, get a little texture to that surface. Again, not damaging the surface, but you are prepping it. Final nail myth, Trace, is that I'm not as cool as Greg. This is a myth that I've seen out there. The truth though, come Come on, let's, let's debunk this one. I knew that was coming. I knew it was coming. Let me think. Um, both ways are false because I'm cooler. Fact. <laughs> You're cooler than all of us? Yep. That's a myth. That is a huge myth that will stay a myth. No debunking there. I'm cool. You and Greg are fools. Oh! Hey guys, we hope you love our nail videos. Comment below and let us know what you want to see next. To see more, go right over here. To subscribe to our channel, head right over here.